listen, cause everybody knows, yeah, everybody knows. Jesus. And only on two questions about another potential conflict of interest involving state's attorney Kim Fox. That conflict of interest between a judge and Fox's office. Let's turn to CBS 2's Charlie DeMar, who has been on this case since it began. Charlie, the late... Brad, good evening. Yeah, the Honorable Leroy Martin Jr. could determine if a special prosecutor will be assigned to probe Kim Fox's handling of the Jossie Smollett case. And that potential conflict in question is the judge's son works in Kim Fox's office. Retired Judge Sheila O'Brien filed several petitions, the first asking a special prosecutor to be appointed to review state's attorney Kim Fox's handling of the Jesse Smollett case. O'Brien writes that she does not know Kim Fox, the state's attorney of Cook County, and has no vendetta against her or the state's attorney's office. Just anything you want to say? The actor accused of staging his own racist and homophobic attack, lying to police about it. Then, just weeks later, the charges were dropped by Fox's office in a surprise hearing. Tuesday, Fox firing back with petitions of her own, saying she's already invited the office of the inspector general to review her actions in the Smollett case, and a special prosecutor wouldn't be needed because there's no actual conflict of interest. The issue is set to be heard Thursday in front of the Honorable Leroy Martin Jr., the presiding judge of the Cook County Criminal Division. His son, Leroy Martin III, is an assistant state's attorney working under Kim Fox since 2018. His LinkedIn reflects it. Separate from the potential conflict between Judge Martin, his son, and Fox, O'Brien has already asked for a judge outside of Cook County to determine if a special prosecutor is to be appointed. Now, we asked the spokesman for the chief judge if this presents any type of conflict that may require a substitute judge. He referred me to the Illinois Supreme Court rule that says a judge should not comment publicly on pending or impending litigation, essentially a no comment. Also, in all of this, Jussie Smollett was subpoenaed and is supposed to appear in court tomorrow. And his attorneys, they filed paperwork asking that Smollett not be required to be there. We are live in the newsroom tonight. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News, Brad and Erica. I can feel your heart racing Cause everybody knows